Let's get rid of this USB cable. Just highlight it. Look at that. Took it all out. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through some common Pixel 6a tips and tricks. Huge shout out to Google for providing us with this phone, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in the Google Pixel 6a or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead, let's jump right in. First things first, let's talk about system navigation. So this is important to make sure you get the correct layout for your preferences. So maybe you set your phone up and it's in gestures, but that's not what you want. You can change that back to the three button layout. So just search system navigation on your device in settings. You can pull it up right here. And we have three button navigation selected because that's what I prefer, but you can also change it to gesture navigation if that's what you prefer. Next up, let's talk about battery. So you're gonna wanna be able to configure battery to maximize the life for your phone usage. Just search battery to bring up the battery settings. We can view our battery usage, learn more about which apps are occupying most of our power consumption. But most importantly, we can enable battery saver so we can turn that on. We can even schedule it if we want. And we can enable extreme battery saver to really push the battery life on our Pixel 6a. All of that can be done right from within the battery settings. Highly recommend looking into that and turning on battery saver and maybe even extreme battery saver. Next, let's talk about the camera. So maybe you don't know this, but you can double tap the power button. It'll actually bring up the camera for you. No longer do you have to unlock your phone, get into the camera settings or anything like that. Just double tap the power button and there you go. The camera is now ready to be used. While we're in the camera app, I wanna make sure that you know how to take advantage of Google Lens. This is a fantastic feature that I feel is hidden and tucked away within the camera app. So select the modes option, then choose lens and here we go. We could scan QR codes. We can search what the phone is identified right here. So let's see, there we go. Let's search if we can search the Google logo. So we're searching right now, it's looking for results. So it brought up the result, the Google Pixel Book Go, but look at that, the images it brought up right there. So you could search trees, cars, anything along those lines. And you may notice we have a translation feature. I've used this multiple times in manuals that are in different languages. It's really nice to basically have that fast and live and responsive translation right there. Text, homework, shopping, places, dining. I mean, you get the idea here. So Google Lens is really powerful. Make sure you're taking advantage. Next up, let's talk about Google Photos. So pull up Google Photos right here, grab a photo that you want to edit and make sure you're using this tool. So select the edit option, then choose tools, magic eraser. Sometimes it'll find suggestions for you. Other times it won't. In this case, we want to erase. So we'll select done. It didn't have anything though, so let's bring it back. Let's pinch to zoom. And then we can see if we can get rid of our pixel buds right here. This is gonna be a tough one, but let's try it out anyways. Have a little fun here. See how it does. Hey, that's actually not bad for what it is. Obviously it's not perfect, but I'll show you maybe a better application here. So we're gonna pinch to zoom in. Let's get rid of this USB cable. Just highlight it. Look at that, took it all out. So if you have a power line in the background, things like that, you can make quick edits on the go. Next up, let's talk about the power button. By default with your Pixel 6a, if you hold down the power button, it's gonna activate Google Assistant. If you want to get rid of that or change it, just search power button in your settings. It's under system right here and gestures. Press and hold power button, we can select that. So currently we have our hold for assistant disabled. I don't care for that feature personally. I like to be able to hold down my power button like you see here and bring up the option to restart or power off, lockdown or emergency. That's what I personally prefer. So you can choose which one you want right here. If you want hold for assistant, then watch what happens. I'm gonna hold down the power button and assistant is running right now for us, but we're gonna turn that back off. 
so we can have our power button back. Now let's talk about the keyboard. So by default, we have our keyboard right here with no number keys in their own row. So if you want to enable that, go ahead, select the settings gear icon, choose preferences, and number row is the first option. We need to turn that on. So watch what happens when we go back out. Ta-da, we now have our numbers right there with easy access. Now let's get to your viewing experience. If you wanna set up split screen with your Pixel 6a, it's very easy to do. So the first thing is we have our Google Chrome tab open right here. Let's go ahead. We are going to press our rectangular button and we're gonna click on the Google Chrome icon and we have the option to split top. And now we have all of our other opened apps. So let's do YouTube right there. And there we go. We just successfully set up split screen. Obviously we could expand one or the other if we wanna to go to just YouTube. Maybe we wanna do YouTube and our messages. So let's go ahead, let's split that one. And have our messages open. There we go. We have both open on our phone at the same time with a nice split screen. Last but definitely not least is Now Playing. I highly recommend turning on this feature. So again, just search for Now Playing on your device. It'll show up under Settings Services. This is what Now Playing looks like on your lock screen. So basically in a nutshell, Now Playing, once you enable it, will identify songs in the background. So maybe you're listening to the radio, something on TV, maybe you're watching content at the computer, somebody in the office, whatever it may be, if there's music in the background and Google can recognize it, it'll display the song name and artist on your lock screen without you having to do anything. So can you say bye-bye, Shazam? Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye now, bye, bye-bye. So anyways, we have ours enabled right here couple other settings to go over. I would recommend checking out the Now Playing History. This is really cool and super convenient. If maybe you heard a song a couple of days ago, you forgot what the song was or who sang it, anything like that, you can check your history and chances are it'll show up there. And then be sure to hit that heart and give it a favorite while you're at it. So really nice to have that history and catalog of what you've been listening to right there, especially if you're like myself and you drive an old car that doesn't have a fancy radio or display. There's a lot of times you're like, hey, who sings this song? I don't know, I gotta Shazam it. Well, not anymore. You can just see it on your lock screen without having to do anything besides enable this one time.